Today we're experimenting with rice hull ash and road base. We're using a small measuring device so that we can get about 10% rice hull ash. This is what rice hull ash looks like. It's the, the holes from rice that's been burned. It looks just like ash from the like a forest fire. It's a natural pozzolan, which can make the soil harder. We're going to start off with about 10%. I'm adding it in thin layers and tamping it. This will simulate an earth bag. Okay, so it's pretty solid, just like you would damp an earth bag. And the idea is to use the rice holes in replacement of cement. That big bag over there was only $3.60, and of course cement is much more expensive. Okay, now we're making a second test block with no burned rice holes, no ash, just the road base so we can compare the two blocks. We're just adding a little earth at a time, the same consistency same amount of moisture that we put in the earth bag. Just spread it out, do thin layers. You notice the plastic on the damper so it doesn't stick. Okay, here's our finished rammed earth block. With, with no ash. We'll see how they compare after they dry. This one had a little more moisture and it seemed like it's stronger. But then again, this has the ash, which should add some strength. So we'll just see. I noticed this was crumbly when I took it out of the form, which means it probably had a lack of moisture. And some people may think, well, this is just earth. This can't be strong, but this is rammed earth which can last thousands of years. You can learn more on our earth bag website. But just this right here alone can last thousands of years. And it gains its strength from clay. The, the clay is like a, a flat platelet, kind of like the shape of my hand. You put the platelets together and under pressure, they create a, a molecular bond that's very, very strong very compact, very dense. So this can last for a very long time. We'll wait a little while and take it out of the form. Make sure you use uh, very strong forms. And also note, you don't have to tamp it and you don't have to make it in blocks. This is just a test. You could build a whole wall in the same way, not individual blocks. So there are many things you can do with this technology. And this plastic we tested this out, it worked really well. Here are the final blocks. You can see that this one had more moisture. You can see the, the smooth, solid clay on the top and even on the sides. You can see more pore space here, more small holes between the particles. So I'm guessing that this is going to be stronger. Even though we put the ash in this, in this one over here to make it stronger. So we'll see maybe in a week or two. If you do this, I highly recommend metal forms. The wood form is just it's too fragile, too easy to break. And with the metal form, you could tamp it much harder and get very, very strong blocks.